again in Transylvania. I was inspired by the last video I did here to continue the Mufalon hunt, just because it's uh, an animal I never really hunted very much uh, throughout the first year of Way of the Hunter. Uh, but first, I'm down in the grasslands here in Vampire Cabin. Uh, which is kind of strange because he's got garlic here and he's the vampire, but anyways. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into the next day. It's uh, sun's going down, so I'm going to start a new day here in the way of the hunter. And I still have to figure out which day is the start of a new year. So that's my first goal. Uh, they still have this bug, I guess, in the game here. Um, I'm going to sleep until uh, like 6 in the morning, 6.30 or something. Yeah, it'll be about 6.30. And I'm going to head out to these uh, red deer uh, feed zones, which appear to be down in some deep caverns or something. Well, that's it. Let's just reset the markers. Get them where they're supposed to be. It's this guy here. This is my test herd to try and figure out which uh, day is the start of a new year. And as sort of a, a side note, typically I use uh, drink zones, but it's a little reversed down here in the grasslands of Transylvania. The easiest place to hunt uh, some of the animals out here is actually the feed and the rest zones. A lot of them are just right out in the open in the fields while the the river and the waterway is all covered in veg or vegetation and trees and so on. Uh, so one of them got fixed and one of them did not. One is still down below. It's this one over here keeps being broken. Oh, the developers can't seem to get this one <laughs> to be... Can I set it beyond it? No, that one's just permanently in the ground. Maybe if I get closer, I'll be able to set it. And there's the sun rising in Transylvania. Very cool looking. Alright, so... I'm only really in Transylvania to figure out the uh, my calendar, get the calendar counter going. Uh, for me, uh, running the calendar uh, with the toolbox is a very long-term sort of thing. Uh, because uh, I don't put too many hours into the game. So it's going to take months and months and months uh, for all this sort of cataloging to pay off. Oh, there's one mature. Oh well. Away they will go for now. Uh, but I still feel like I should be, you know, doing the appropriate uh, cataloging of animals and keeping track of time, just because it's one of the one of the things that make uh, Way of the Hunter unique. So even if it eventually amounts to nothing really big, it's still sort of entertaining to do. So. We'll keep doing it. And there's always something to be learned anyway, so... Uh, over time, we'll figure some more out of the game. No real science today. That's just sort of the goal of the hunt I was going to sit down and do one, so we'll run a video at the same time. So basically, this is their often feed zone. Oh, there's uh, some fallow deer. I just have to see what the herd's looking like at this uh, feed zone up there. I don't actually see them here at the primary feed zone. I did fix the little pointer. I guess that has something to do with distance. Uh, the rare zone's now marked appropriately. I don't see any spook bubbles or anything. I basically left the herd just sitting at two cows. I took all the bulls out of it. That was during the stream. We'll just cruise over here. See what we can see. Don't want to get too much closer than 200. Ooh, you do want to make sure the Jeep is stopped, though. When you go into camera mode, if it's still got its wheel spinning in place, it still makes noise. Um, I think I see them there. We're going to have to do the old zoom in here with the field of view slider. Alright, I'm still not into a new year. 
Because it's still just the two cows there. Alright, no problem. Back at Mahaley's Hill. Still, the sun is still rising. It's before seven. But the Mouflon's the target now. And uh, this pesky one that lives right around the cabin is the one I've been trying to uh, sort out for some time. Uh, they have a feed zone up here that they should be approaching, and one over here. So it's not too far. Wind is still good. It was good last day in Trans or Transylvanian, good today as well. Let's see if I can locate these guys. So just if you're unaware it's uh, of the last video here, uh, it's still sort of the same plan. I'm not fitness managing these guys, I'm going to be age managing the Mufalon, which essentially just means uh, setting all the males uh, to the same age by removing them all in a single year. And they're just keeping track of from there. So you just mark that down and then come back uh, when they're at their max age and harvest them all in a single day. And that way you ensure that uh, you get them all at the, at the max level. It doesn't really help with the bell curve or anything like that, but it does ensure that you are getting... Uh, the mouflon at the at the highest score that they could be for that uh, fitness that they spawn in at. If that makes any sense, that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, lots of different ways, lots of different strategies, uh, but without a collar, that's typically how I'm going to run most of it. If you can't filter them out by low fitness uh, through a collar, then it's uh, I find it more fun to just just hunt them more like normal. Disregard the fitness, just hunt all the males and come back when they're as big as they can be. Nice and simple. It's just a very long-term kind of uh, strategy. So I'm not familiar with uh, the feed zone that's right up here. It's right on the road, apparently. And I'm coming in with good wind and good elevation. Hopefully they're there. Oh, it's still a good distance away. Oh, I don't see them. I mean, it's not quite the feed time yet. But they certainly should be on the move here. I wonder what direction they're coming from. Oh, they're there, there. Just in time I got here. Just as they got here. Sometimes the plan just works out. So we got one male in there anyways. Hopefully they can... Uh, Come down this road a little bit in the opening. Who is this one? Oh, it's just a couple of young and adult. Yeah. Every single Mufon I'm seeing is already young, so it's almost like uh, I've already reset them, but I haven't, so. Is it just the four? Alright. I might just bring the big gun out. Uh, well, 200 meters isn't bad. Oh, no, there's, uh, oh, there's a female, female. No, there's five, but I didn't see this one down here. Alright, it doesn't matter which male I get. Uh, looks like I'm not going to have an opportunity for a very precise shot. So we're going to bring out the big gun, the 300, just to make sure they go down. Make sure we got the three bullets ready. Just in case I get a follow-up shot on one of the males. So here's one. That one's sitting in the trees. I bet you this tree stops the shot. I already zeroed correctly. I suppose I can just wiggle over a little bit. Sneak a shot in there. Without falling off the rock. No, he's going to step forward. Got to pay attention to where I am on this rock. Looks like we gotta be a little bit patient. Oh, not too patient. Here he comes. Okay, 200 meter shot. Barely any wind. Don't need to take into account. We can just put the 300 right through the shoulder. Okay, instant drop. Female, 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 female. Male, I do not see. Oh. That was delayed. No shot on him. 
Well, we know they went up the road, so maybe I'll be able to locate them again. I did actually want to switch this uh, 300 out for the other one, uh, because it is indeed less accurate at 200 meters than the SM-12. Uh, from my last video hunting the Mouflon, I was only at 200 meters, and uh, even though the shot was supposed to hit high in the lung, it actually hit up in the spine, which uh, is revealing the inaccuracy of this rifle. It's a little bit too inaccurate for me. Most of the shots uh, go okay, but I was talking to, or seeing a conversation going by on the official way of the Hunter Discord. I think it was Liquid Fire saying that he used to test these out, and it was about one out of every sh five shots went a little, went a little wild. So I now I'm kind of wondering how they do the accuracy in the game. Uh, if it's uh, kind of like a, a chance for the shot to be off a little bit since four to five of them seem to be good. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, if you get one that goes a little off, it can really mess it up. And there's some road here just barking away up here on the ledge. I wonder if there's any obvious shot to take. I switched to the monoblock. Might as well go with the tried and true classic. I think we're going to leave these road deer alone. My target is not them. All right. So yeah, we've got the, the monoblog now, the 15 times scope. I wanted to use the 18 times because I haven't used it in a while, but man, I just, I was looking down the, the scope and like that reticle just blocks too much. So I'm going to stick with the 15. And we'll see where this shot landed. It should have went through the shoulder into the lung, but it still looked like it hit high. Where was he? He's over here, right? Yeah. It's all kind of dark out. Okay, nope, that, that hit. Oh, it hit a bit left where I was. Yeah, see? This is, um... I, I probably won't bother replaying it back, but maybe I will. I don't think I was that far to the left. Uh, maybe I was, though. Oh, well, no biggie. I'm just finding I'm definitely less accurate uh, with it. 76%, uh, not a big deal more important to figure out what their age is at this point for me, uh, for me. And you can always just stumble upon a, uh, a five star when you're doing this anyways. Oh, the sun is rising. Here goes the shadow across the jeep. No, now we're in the light. I guess it's, oh yeah, there it is. The shadow was just kind of, I guess that makes sense on that shadow. There we go. The sun is rising fast. You can see over in this direction. I cannot see in this direction. <laughs> Just awfully dark in the, sh in the shade here. Uh, I can't really find them. Not too concerned. I could just get them at their drink zone. I only need to get one more from there. And then there is still one ram that was at this other MUFON group, and they should be at this feed zone up here, so I'm going to check that out here while I'm waiting. Looks like they're actually not at this feed zone. I don't know if I marked which one was which or not. Oop. Let's see. Okay, so this is the rare one. i got to find their often one. Okay, their other often, or their often feed zone should be... Right here. Where are these guys hiding? Oh, they're in the back there. Okay. Um, they are at a highly elevated spot. Hmm. There's the wind. That's good. Maybe over here, try? Let's see. Spooking them. Being a little aggressive with the Jeep here. Yep, oh, they're right there. Eek, stop. Okay, hide behind the Jeep for a second. Are they still there? Oh, oh no, I startled them. Thought that was too close. Alright, let's watch, see where they go. There's one over there. Yeah, there's only the one male. I want to get him out of there, but ah, there's trees in that direction. 
some coverage for them. And I lost them. Maybe if I drive around from this high kind of mountain, I can look down and see them. Ooh. They're crafty move on. I don't see them anywhere. They're probably right down in front of me in one of these places here, but uh, in the shadow of the mountain with all with this uh, kind of brush here, it could be down in those trees. Can't seem to see them with my old eyes. No, oh well, it's no problem. I know where they drink. Oh, hello, you. Found some uh, chamois just driving around. Priest armature, you're fine. Who knows what you'll become? Oh, same one. They're all running this way. They're all charging me. Any others I can spot? No. Alright, let's try and get into sunshine here. Okay, time to look for move on group three. So we're still just in the feed time. So we might as well look at the three groups here. See if we can take them all all back to year one for the age. I'm not sure how whoop, that didn't go very well. How am I going to get up here with the jeep? I guess this way and up? Oops, that way. Into the mountains we go. Definitely need some elevation here. Got some chamois. Didn't even see them. Came out of nowhere. Alright. So one feed zone's over there. Come on, little jeep. Let's get up there. Alright, the mouflon are at this feed zone up here. It's not quite at the 150 meter mark, they're a bit farther than that. They actually have a slope protecting them. If I get over this ledge, there's another slope between me and them. Uh, so I need as much elevation as I can get. So I'm going to try and climb this way a bit, get a better angle. Yeah, this is going to be a little tricky. Uh, there's this little uh, ledge here where it starts to decline. After that, they're right past it. So if we use a little camera here, go zoom, and then up, and there they are. They are traveling to the left. Maybe I can get them in the open there. I wonder why they're traveling. Their feed zone's back here. Oh, they're changing their mind? Okay, no, they're at their destination. Can I see that guy? Maybe I can climb up this rock? Can I do this? Can I see them now? Oh, this is tricky. Trying to think of what I should do here. I'll spook them going right at them right here, because I won't be able to see them until right here. <laughs> and they'll never make it. Oh, you guys, oh man. You guys are in a clever little spot. I mean, if I, oh, there's more. They chamois, and they move on too. I think they're chamois. There I am on the rock. Huh. Can I see them now? Tricky. Alright, I'll try the start stop thing here. Try and get up to these rocks here. Okay, so far I'm undetected. Getting up to these rocks. Okay, they should be hearing me by now. They're not very far off. Right there. <clears throat> uh, now they're just, like, they're just sort of circling their feed zone. What do we have? Three rams? Mm, this one's going to be a hard one to reset. Jump! Oh, see, I can't really make noise trying to jump over this rock. Did they hear me do that? No, they didn't. Okay. There we go. Ah! 
Okay, still doing an age reset. Everything's young though, so it's not really critical that I do this. Oh well, still fun to hunt. 100 meters of monoblock. Quartering away too. Back right lung there. And I'm gonna run up here and see if I can see where they go. Maybe get a second one. And I can see the one I wounded. There's the shot. It looks good. If I can get a second one, that'd be really great. Time to use the camera. Do I see any pixels moving? No. <laughs> oh, that's not them though. At least I don't think it is. I can see where they go though. Maybe that's them? Don't see any other movement. If it is, they stopped. Kind of right where that V sort of meets. Alright, we'll give it a go. We gotta find this guy down though. Where are you, blood? Right here. Oh, he's right here. He didn't make it too far at all. Old 308. Don't really need another rifle in the game, really. Except for Cape Buffalo, I suppose. There, pretty much what I wanted to do. Good. 71%. No big deal either way. It's not our primary goal. Okay. So they went uh, this way. I think I see them. I need to get... Right about here. And then they're down the slope. Uh, nope, it's just chamois, actually. It was a different herd. Man, I don't know how these animals are eluding me after they spook once in such open areas. But, they are. I think it's just they really do blend right into everything. I have a hard time seeing them. I mean, since the chamois herd is right here, and I'm right above them, I will take a look. I should be seeing the chamois real soon. Yeah, there we are. Uh, there's a low fit right there, so that's good. We'll just do a normal, normal low fit call. There's two of them. All right, that one's clipping into another one. I wonder if this is the one I got the five star out of. Another 100 meter shot. I don't like them clipping though, that's no good. I mean, this guy's low fit as well. Okay, what we'll do is one of these. And. Whoa, right at his feet. <laughs> that was a pretty wild one. Alright, he's getting away. Oh well. Let's go pick this guy up. Actually, I think this is one of the females here. Oh, she didn't pop back up again. She just vanished. Alright, let's get this guy. Left long hit. Pretty much what I wanted to do, so that worked out. 33%, down he goes. Alright, new plan is... So I'm not worried about uh, this mouflon herd I was up here with. It's not a, not overly concerning because I don't have enough time to track all of them down. We're going to be going to drink zone this guy and drink zone this guy. Because they each got one more that I need to, I need to reset. 
and then these guys typically drink right here. But it can be a little tricky. I have a hard time getting them there. Oh, they're actually at this one over here. Oh, and the Shema here. And there's a call right there. Darn it. And there's a fourth there. <laughs> okay, they're not my target though. Go away, guys. I mean, easy enough call right there. But the Mouflon guy I want is behind this rock. Actually, man, they got quite the position here. I think I just spooked him because I spooked the chamois, right? Holy smokes. Yeah. I'm not sure how to approach that little lake there. You have to come from the other way. Or just have a lot more patience than I do. Which typically that's my weakness, it's the patience. I just don't have the patience sometimes. Yeah, see, they already got away on me. Man, how how would you approach this lake? It is right sheltered. By uh you'd have to come from this direction and look down on them, I guess. You can't really approach from the cabin. You have this big wall in front of you. You can't climb here. No, now don't make too much noise. That, this little herd's always giving me trouble with these drink zones. That is a really fortified position they've got here to drink at. And of course, I don't know where they went. So what we'll do is, um, same thing I did before. We're going to go to the other location. At least get one of these guys reset. Okay, I should be able to get this one. There's a Shamog group here as well. Alright. Finally a herd positioned. Or it's fairly easy. My worst enemy is my patience. Here we go. There's the last one. So I can reset them. Here's a Shamog group. Three star mature, two star, one, three. So kind of a medium high herd there. And these are just all females of the male. But this is my main target, just this little guy here. 160 out, that's as far as we really need to go. Got a bit of wind now. 100 cents off, I gotta turn that dot off permanently for now. Try a moving shot, but I really don't want to chase the guy. I do need to practice the uh, walking shot, so let's try. Oh, no, we stopped. There we go. Not going to worry about anything else. We'll just uh, pick him up then. Here he is. Should be a right wing, a right and lung skull knockout. And it is. He went into the other one. Funk. No, 77. Everything's 70. That's fine. Come back with three of them. High fit, please. <laughs> so that is all that is. Now, I'm just going to probably teleport um, this herd back around again. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. This mouflon herd by the cabin, super tricky. All their zones are really well guarded <clears throat> from uh, from approaching them from the cabin location anyways. <clears throat> this is uh, their rest zone they were at. And it's right on the steep incline, but of course you try to get elevation on it and they're just on the other side of the slope again. But this is them here, see that's the guy I want. He's going to turn left and disappear. Just not getting getting the brakes I need here. It's There's so many rocks and trees and elevation thing. They're always just on the other side of something. Well, maybe he'll stop and I can actually get him from here? I mean, I'm not that scary to make you run forever. There, that'd be alright. You know, they're going to keep trotting. Oh, maybe stop there. Do a 300 meter monoblock shot. Mm, 
this to the right too. No, they're gonna try it out of there. He's probably gonna leave any second now. Oh, there he's already going. Uh, he's guarded by a little branch. Almost 400 meters, I'm up against a rock. I'm not going to be able to, oh, can I climb this? All right. I don't know about this shot. Wind to the right. This guy might defeat me. Oh. He's got this branch right in the way. Four hundred, sneak it right in there. Gonna have to be quick. And I got wind, so I gotta aim back. It'll never make it through. Probably just hit the tree. <laughs> oh. Well, that hit him. Is there another male in there? I thought there was only one left. Now, where did they go? Did they just de render on me? Oof. This little move on group, I tell you. Is this them there? Looks like there is another male in there. And away they go under the protection. Oh, wait. Stop up there. <laughs> Oh yeah, right behind the little stick, the one little spot that would protect them. 600, I didn't, I thought there was only one male in there. You think the bullet can actually get through these impenetrable trees here? Big wind to the left too. Look at that, both of them are right between these little sticks. And these just stop the bullets flat. And the wind's gonna curve it. Let's try. Over his back. I'm gonna give him a second to calm down because they're gonna spook if I fire again. The bullet impact. Uh, Alerts them. Can you believe it though? They're stopping right, right in the, like the one spot behind each of these little tree sticks. All right, the wind didn't catch it too, too much. Okay, they're calm. Would you guys want to take a step forward a little bit? Like, just move? <laughs> I should not be hunting with the patience level I have. Like, are you kidding me? There we go. Look, look at the heavy quarter, though. I should just get back to the UTV and just grab the 338. Enough of you guys. I have in the butt. <laughs> Look at the long delay in that shot. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Oh, he's, he's staring. Oh, uh, well. Let's just go check out the blood anyways. My patience is just gone with the game. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's stuck on the rock. River can't do anything. Oh, my. Is this where the first shot was? Did I actually hit around here? I think I hit something up here. <laughs> I just want to get the 338 now and just start blasting things. I should go and annihilate some ducks or something like that. 
Wait, did I not hit up here? Yeah. I'm stopping to even care. <laughs> Can't even care anymore. I don't see any. I thought I landed one. Oh well. They were both fine, so it wouldn't have been a kill shot anyways. Alright, up the hill further. You gotta be kidding me. This is why you bring the jeep. Alright. Alright, is this where I hit him? Is he up more? Not. Don't know. There comes a time when you just have to know when you're beat. When your patience is beat. Because that'll be it. Because I can't find the blood. Am I in the wrong spot? I don't think so. I didn't mark it. So I don't know. This MUFON group just took all the patience out of me. They're becoming my arch enemy. That MUFON group right beside Mahaley's house. I've spooked them more than anything. <laughs> anything in the game. Every time I come out of Mahaley's house and they're out there drinking, I can never get close to them. I never have the patience to do it. You can't call them out of there. And then their other drink zone is even more shielded. And then their rest zone is like a fortress. My goodness. Crazy. This rest zone up here would be okay. This is where the rest zone is. But it's their rare rest zone, so they're not going to be here very often. What can you do? Alright, those move on. Live for another day, I suppose. I'm going to come back with them with a 338. Just take them all out. Maybe drive after them with a the jeep. That actually might make me more grumpy because I'll probably run into all these rocks and trees while I'm trying to run them over. They also just seem to vanish after spooking. I have had very little success finding them after they run, which is really weird. Usually I can uh, locate them again. Maybe uh, Tika Moon has uh, spoiled me there because I'm so used to being able to watch where they go afterwards. Who's up here? Oh, I need his own rarely for Shemlar. I must be in Door Apex by now. Which is also a Kind of a boring hunt if you've ever been up here. All it is is chamois and just the same terrain over and over again. But it's a, a different kind of hunt. Yeah, like I can't locate the MUFON after they've ran. Okay, so on your next hunt, bring more patience than I have. That'll help. And uh, yeah. That'll be pretty much for uh, this episode, approaching uh, 40 minutes. Um, always fun to struggle in the hunt. Uh, so, I got that one group reset, but I think I'll pause from Mufalon hunting for a little bit. I'm not actually too sure what I'll switch to. Probably a different game. <laughs> for, the, for the next couple days, maybe. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now, so uh, like always everybody, uh, happy hunting, and uh, yeah, bring your patience when you come hunt these move on, and uh, everybody take care, see you next time.